Some very, we've got a very special guest coming up in just a second. But on the whole world of wokeness, which we'll be talking about, great to see, I'm sorry, great to see that the Woolly CEO stood down. You've seen the footage of that car crash of an interview that Rita referred to earlier. Um, but what's interesting is if consumers stand up against wokeness, so this clown uh, said that we wouldn't celebrate Australia Day at Woolworths. He's now gone after making a fool of himself on television. But more importantly, Woolworths seem to be waking up to the fact that if you spit in the face of consumers endlessly with your political virtue signalling, it's going to come back and hit your bottom line. They've now woken up to the fact that they've said, oh, uh, all those checkout uh, people and staff stacking shelves and that who virtue signal with their badges, their LGBTIQ what's it, what's it badge or their Aboriginal flag badge or whatever it might be, whatever political virtue signalling, that now stops at Woolworths according to this release which is saying that uh, staff may, may no longer display all this sort of rubbish which is great news and which shows that you, the consumer, do have the ability to change the insanity that is surrounding us now.